Hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee, and today I'm going to show you a couple 3D prints that make my life easier when I'm using my Dylan 650. Visit www.trb.fyi for our disclaimers, safety tips, and articles about the tools that we use in our videos. If you're a Dillon owner, you know what that sound is. That means I'm out of primers. And that means I need to search around on my bench and look for a new primer tube so I can fill up my primers again. Problem is, is that I have so many things on my bench that usually I'm looking around and tripping on things. The user eBob on Thingiverse realized that he could develop a system that attaches to the shell feeder that would hold our tubes. While Functional DIYer decided to design a system that used a cross brace. I decided that a combination of both of these 3D prints would solve my problem. I decided to print out eBob's solution first. I used Cura as my slicer, so I imported his model into Cura and sliced it for printing. I'll need a 30% infill, and I can print this without supports. It's going to take about three hours to print this. The holes on the back can be tapped for M3 screws. However, M4 screws are available at my local hardware store, so I decided to use them. This means I'm going to need to drill the holes a little bit larger so that I can tap them for the M4 screws. Now with the holes drilled out, I can tap it with my M4 tap. This part is now ready to be mounted onto the shell feeder. I imported the model into Cura, and the directions say that you need to scale the model up a thousand percent. I'm going to print this with a resolution of 0.2 millimeters and no supports and a 20% infill. It's going to take just over two hours to print. Functional DIYer has a YouTube channel. I have a link in the description to his channel. EBOB solution fit right onto the shell feeder. I then tighten the screws to attach it to the shell feeder. I use 12 mm long screws, which were way too long, but they'll work anyway. I then attach functional DIYer's tube holder to the cross member. I use the cross member tube holder for my live primer tubes. And I use a shell feeder holder for my empties. As you can see, I'm much more efficient at reloading my primers and getting back to loading. I have links in the description for the 3D printer and the filament that I use to do these prints. As you can see, this is an organizational problem and not a technical problem. And I solved that in just a few hours. If you like the work that we're doing here, Please shop using our affiliate links on www.trb.fyi or consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Thank you.
<laughs> hey everybody, this is Jason from the Rogue Banshee. And I'm going to show you. I have links below. I have links in the description that. I have links in the description for the 3D printer that I used and the filament. I have links in. I have links in the. I have links in the description for the 3D printer and the filament. Filament.